Hello again. We're back. It's day 14 and just tidying up and ready to set off. Legs feeling good, so hoping to get some ground covered today. Let's go. So, I'm back on track, um, foot feels good, it's a bit stiff starting off, but it's gone now. I'm heading up Karen Mountain, and like that I should be there in a few minutes, it's not that big a mountain. And then from there I'm heading off towards Valley Organ, where I don't think there's any shops or that. So that'll be the next time before I get to resupply my food. Sun's out again. Um, don't know how long it's going to last, but nice. I'm coming up to another wind farm as I come across the top of Karen Mountain. I haven't got to the top yet, but shortly. Um, yeah. So the sun's been out for a bit. 40 minutes, so I think it's time to put on some sun cream. And then it'll surely go away. So, problem solved. So, the swelling has gone down on my foot. So, I've decided I've stuck back in the bit of padding into my shoe. Okay, it's not actually on the trail, it's like 20 foot off to the side of it, but I'm going up to the very peak of Karen Mountain because so far I've crossed all these mountains and I've yet to pass over the very top of one, so I want one top for my trip at least. I'm sure there could be more in the north, but one top. Just after that little detour, I am now on the highest point on Ballyhara Way. So, I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but this looks like the world's greenest bit of grass either side of the trail here. That was a shrew just sitting selling itself. <laughs> so I've just crossed the 200 kilometer mark. Um, it's taken me a lot longer to get this far than I expected, but with all the 
injuries and that. Um, I was better off taking my time, unfortunately. But it seemed to be good again. So I'm going to take a few sort of middling kind of days, about 20 kilometres or so, just to ease myself back in. And then we should be back to covering lots of ground again. So onward. Um, no problem. This used to be a lot longer. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to stick that back. So I'm just about to stop for lunch. I see a nice rocky looking point up ahead and have something to eat. Tape my hiking pole back together and then on the road again. This looks like the place for lunch. Now yeah, there's a nice view for lunch. So now this is day 14, um, and I'm just walking along thinking that, like I had, what, I surely had 8 days of mostly rain, and the funny thing is, like, I know it's miserable when it's happening, but the minute the sun comes out, it's all forgotten, and it is really out today, it's lovely and warm, and like that, you just forget about all the rainy days, and it all resets. And I'm now actually in Ballyhara. Mm -hmm. Back on the road. <laughs> Thankfully, my foot is fantastic today, so not going to go much further. I'm going to stop quite soon and set up camp for the night. So Nearly there. I'm just about to come through Valley Organ. Um, I don't know if there's a shop. I kind of hope there is so I can get some snacks because I'm running out. Um, but if there's not, I think Kilfanan is the next village. So tonight I'll probably camp between Valley Organ and Kilfanan. This, I believe. Is part of Castle Oliver. Today I've been plagued with clags, or as some people call them, horse flies. And I think I must have squished about 20 of them today. Because they're so slow, they just land on you. And you've got time to whack them before they bite. So, <laughs> I'm walking up the road here, thinking. Oh, there's something furry there. What is it? It could be an owl. It's a freaking pom-pom of someone's hat. Fox. It's bloody warm. Absolutely lovely. But it is hot. Sweaty. Another lovely spot to call home for the night.
so that's me all done for today i got about 20 kilometers done and i'd say i'm about four from kilfanan where i'm gonna get some food tomorrow restock everything get some water and all that sort of thing but uh got a nice spot for the night quite flat i'll see you again tomorrow best of luck and so long